Welcome everyone to Saturdays with Grace. We have a special day today. We have our special guest, Grace's niece, Sophia, yes. is here to play with Duplos while we do our Lego bricks. And so, nothing in the house. That's all right. We have our booster bricks here. We're going to open it up and we oh, have our... And the Lego friends are joining again. Oh, okay. And, um... Looks like it is kind of farm renovated because there's a bunny on the picture. Let me just drop something. All right, we have our micro build challenge. Oh, I dropped that. We have our blindfold challenge. What cool boxes they have. We have our booster bricks premiere challenge. We have our mini fig challenge. Okay. And we have our piece of the month, which is a flat. Dark plate, bluish gray, okay. four by six, and we have our sticker. So and over there we have our last month's Lego box that we put some spare Legos in. I don't know what the horses are doing. Collection, but Ellen's here to untangle this. Our story this month. Are you ready? A magical birthday. So I'm going to go sit over off to the side and read while Grace does this, and Sophia will be playing with her do clothes. Do clothes. And every once in a while, when she asks me to build something, I will show it. Okay. So let's ah. get ah. let's get started. Here. Okay. So they want to help, but you can't really. Help. Well, let's see what this story is about and see how they can help. If you know what's going on, so you know how you can help, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, Emma had been planning her eighth birthday. Party. Oh, well, Emma, her seventh Emma's birthday right party. Here. So, Emma is right here. Being the little sister, she always got the leftovers from her older brother's parties in August. Last year, she wanted a llama theme party, but en ended up with Alex's leftover sloth themed party. This year, however, Emma's parents had promised she would have the most memorable party yet. She had been dropping hints for months that she wanted a magic show. So we're going to build a clown, but I have a Lego friend named Emma, so Emma's right here. Okay, so Emma's right here. Yeah, so it's like Emma's right here. Okay, so Emma's going to keep reading. It's okay. And then he's going to keep knocking stuff over. She had been dropping hints for months that she wanted a magic show party more than anything. Complete with magic wands, pretzel sticks, a white bunny pinata, and a black top hat birthday cake. She knew her hints had been working well when her aunt dropped her birthday gift off a couple weeks early. It was a beginner's magic kit, which included a magic wand, a white step bunny, until she could manage to get a real one black top hat, and playing cards. Don't tell her which one. It was perfect. She couldn't thank her aunt enough. Since then, Emma had only taken her top hat off, taken off her top hat, hat to practice pulling her stuffed bunny from it and to take a bath. Emma woke up early on the day of her party. This was the year she could feel it. She was going to have the best party ever. Alex walked pa past her door, rubbing the sleep from his eyes. Alex, Emma shouted, jumping up from her bed. Pick a card, any card, she said, shoving a handful of cards in his sleepy face. Can I get some breakfast first, Alex mumbled, barely opening his eyes. Come on, it's my birthday. Fine, he said, taking a card. He looked at it so quickly, one Emma wondered if he even remembered which card he took before he placed it back into the deck. Emma shuffled the deck of cards twice before pulling out a single card, showing Alex. Is this your card? She smiled confidently. Okay. Using your spotlight piece of the month. Ooh, spotlight bird. And up to 15 pieces from your own collection. Okay, Lego friends, this is where you come in. And help. Build a playing card. Playing card? Yep. Okay, Lego friends. Oh, what is a playing card? Well, I have a playing card. I can build the black back of the playing card. It's got spots on it, a heart, you know, diamonds, whatever. How am I supposed to build a heart out of Lego? Well, then just try. 
Okay, let's okay. put this here. You've got all kinds of stuff in here you can build yeah. something with. Look at all these pieces. Okay, um, so the horses are being weird. Got spots on it. The horses don't need to be weird. You need to build your playing card. No. No, the little pieces aren't for you. Here, you have easy. Yeah, you have easy. And he's in the Brian Pirate. Alright. No, Emma, it's not my card. It never is. Can I get some cereal now? Emma frowned. Well, I'm still practicing. I'll ask the magician to my party for some tips. Magician? You mean the clown. I don't know if he can give you any magic tips, Alex said, heading down the stairs. Clown? No, Mom and Dad had to get a magician for my magic show party, she said, following Alex. Well, Mom and Dad must not have gotten the memo, Emma. Alex called from downstairs, because this doesn't look like a magic show party. Emma sprinted down the stairs and gasped, seeing the house. There was no red or black anywhere. No black top hats or white buttons. No magic wands either. Just unicorns. Emma sat at the breakfast table. Her parents yelled, Happy birthday, Emma! And Mom placed a giant plate of pancakes down in front of her. Unicorn can pancakes, to be exact. An ice cream cone horn. Blueberry eyes. Bacon ears. A whipped cream mane. And a second, smaller pancake for the mother. All topped off with rainbow sprinkles. Wow, this is all so unexpected, Emma said to her parents. Well, we know you didn't get the unicorn party you wanted last year. Or the clown the year before, so we decided this was the year. Wasn't it a llama party? Alex asked with a mouthful of cereal. Emma kicked his leg under the table. Alex, what did I do? Stop kicking me, he cried back. Kids, Mom warned. Eat up. The whole party's arriving in a couple hours. Emma put on a blue sparkly dress that she thought would look nice with the unicorn decoration, though she still wore her magician's top hat. Why did you tell Mom and Dad you didn't want a unicorn party? Alex asked from the doorway. He matched the unicorn theme wearing a shirt with a popular comic book character riding a unicorn from a trendy store at the mall. It's not like they could change it now, and it would just make them feel bad for getting it wrong. I guess, but don't you want a special party? I know you're tar tired of getting mild decorations. Emma shrugged her shoulder. There's always next year. She took Alex by the hand. Come on, the party's starting. Look, Alex, the clown is setting up. I guess it might be kind of fun to watch, Emma said, pointing. I have okay. my playing card. I have your Play playing card. Pick it up. It's very nice. Okay. So you are on to your okay, next guys. challenge. Are you ready? Yes. They are putting Using up. only the pieces in your minifig collection, build us a clown. Okay. Oh. Alex started to feel kind of bad for Emma. Emma. She wasn't a particularly bad kid, no worse than himself. She always did well in school and listened to her parents. He felt bad she wouldn't get her dream party again this year. But maybe he could try to fix it for her. He left Emma when some of her friends from school had arrived and went to find his mom in the kitchen. Mom! Alex gasped when he entered the kitchen. What is that? It's Emma's birthday cake, of course. I've been watching those do-it-yourself unicorn cake videos for weeks. Looks good, right? Yep, he bluffed. I think she had a Pinterest fail. <laughs> it was very, very colorful. But Alex didn't think it resembled a unicorn at all. What did it look like? More like a scary animated cartoon. Hmm. Wow. Well, those kids are going to be terrified. I don't get hair, so I'm just going to put this bat on the floor. Oh, wait, there's a helmet. A bat wearing a helmet. A bat wearing a helmet? The Lego friends are stealing the helmet. Uh. Okay. Wow. 
Maybe the red hair? Clogs usually have red hair. Whose hair is that? Leon's <laughs> hair. <laughs> He's funny. Come on, Mike. Okay. Micro build challenge. I can't do this. Whatever. Uh, Are you ready for your micro build challenge? Yes. Okay. So we have a clown. And now, using only the pieces in your micro build challenge, are you ready for this? Build the unicorn cake. Oh! <laughs> there you are. Ah! Well, since she had a Pinterest fail, I'm obviously going to have a Pinterest fail. Let's go for it. Let's get her done. I'm going to... I'm not going to try at all, because that's how you get a creature's fail. Well, you try really hard, but it just doesn't It just doesn't out. do quite what you want it to yeah, do. Yeah, but if I try really hard on Lego, I can make it look like what I want to make it look like, so I'm just not going to try. She dropped her person. That oh upset God. her. All right, you're building the cake. Ready? Ow! I'm going to keep reading while you're building the cake. Have you started the cake? No. You should start the cake. Cakes take time. Yeah, I have to. Cakes take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And I've only got three paragraphs to read. Oh! So you better get started. Okay. Okay. I'll read it. Okay. Cake. Start to the Okay. Nice round cake. Listen, Mom. It's not gonna Are you sure Emma wanted to have a unicorn party? What? Of course. Emma loves unicorns. Mom said, adding even more frosting to the cake. Help me. Are you sure she didn't say anything or give you any idea about a magician? Alex was cut off. Alex, can you go help your dad hang the pinata up? I'm sure the kids will want something to play soon, Mom said, shooting him out of shooing him out of the kitchen. I have got to post this online. All my friends will want me to do their birthday cakes. <laughs> no, they won't. They really won't. Alex walked into the backyard trying not to laugh. And I'm trying to laugh while I build this. Alex found his dad struggling to get the multicolored unicorn pinata tied up in the big tree. Wow. How's that cake coming? Very Pinterest family. It's very colorful. They said the cake was so Oops. Find, find something that That's definitely a Pinterest fail. Pass for a horn. Maybe that blue piece over there. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, she's right. looking down, so that's her horn. I'm doing the Pinterest fail. I'm failing. Since Pinterest always does. Okay. Are you ready? It's almost time for your premiere pass. I'm Pinterest failing. So right, finish your Pinterest fail cake because you've got another challenge to do. Are you ready? Does this look like a unicorn at all? No. Maybe it looks like the cake. Maybe. All right. Use it. Only the pieces in this premiere pack. She wants to bad play with the tiny pieces. Ready? I'm so sorry, Sam, but you're not going to build a pinata. Oh, that oh. looks like legs. A pinata. It's going to be a unicorn pinata. A unicorn pinata. Right. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> a pegasus. Okay. Need some no, Pegasus Pinata or Unicorn. Oh, there you go. That was from my own collection from before, but still. Need some help, Dad? Alice, Alex asked, picking up the giant pinata. Yeah, thanks, Alex. I think this pinata is going to be a hit. His dad laughed. No, Dad. No ja dad jokes, please. What? You don't think Emma is having a smashing birthday? Ha ha, dad joked as they got the pinata tied in place. Actually, dad, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. 
Emma doesn't want to say, since she knows you guys put a lot of effort into this, but she really wanted a magician party. I should have said something earlier. Well, that's too bad. I thought we really got it right this year with these ponies. Unicorns, Alex corrected him. Right, unicorns. Well, you seem to know your sister better than we do. What can we do for her to make it better? Well, I do have an idea, but I'll need your car key. Alex, you're 10. <laughs> Only means you need something in the car, I think. Well, I do have an idea, but I'll need you to go to the store. Dad smiled. That's more like it. Wow. You can have that. You can have that. Emma had a good party. She ate some delicious cake from the horrifying cartoon her mom made. <laughs> She got tons of candy from the pinata her dad and Alex had put up. Mama, she ate this. She ate it. Apparently the cake part was good. Sometimes it doesn't look great, but it tastes great. Right? Totally, I made a Pinterest fail. That looked a lot like a cake. The clown show was not half bad. The only thing missing was the magician. Hopperate! It has the shortest lanes in the Ladies universe. and gentlemen, a roaring voice called out. Please gather in the yard for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see the great Alex Dini perform. All the kids gathered oh, near, <laughs> near Emma in the yard, and Alex walked out in a black cape and a top hat. He pulled out a thin magic wand and pointed it to the audience. Welcome. For my first trick, I will need a special volunteer. All the children raised their hands high up in the air. Alex Dini? You! He pointed right to Emma. She smiled and ran up to the table. All right, Emma, I need you to help me out, Alex instructed. He took off his top hat and placed it on the table. What was I building again? The um, pinata, the unicorn pinata. Take my wand. Take my wand. And wave it over my hat seven times, saying abracadabra. Emma repeated the words while waving her wand. Alex, can you do? Now close your eyes and reach inside, Emma. Okay. Emma. Here's your blindfold Emma. challenge. Emma. 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 All right, take those pieces out. Emma. And what does it say? Only the pieces are going to reach it. Only the pieces in your blindfold challenge, and you're going to build what comes out of a black hat. A rubbish. All right, a bunny. You like my unicorn? Oh. <laughs> I like that unicorn pinata. I bet he holds lots of candy. That's very cool. <laughs> All right. I'm going to eat the eggs. They ate that already. Open um, out the blindfold challenge here. I can't be blindfolded this year. Blindfolded. I don't want to be You don't have to be. Build you a bunny. Come on. You need some help? There we go. No. What was I building? A bunny. A rabbit coming out of a hat. A rabbit? A rabbit coming out of a hat. You can have this. Alright, let's finish it up. Thank you, Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see this rabbit. Oh look, I picked something that looks like this. Oh well, I thought it looked like this. <laughs> thought it looked different. Okay, this would be a nice that has eyes on it. <laughs> Okay, this will be a nice ear. <laughs> oh, it'll be a nice ear, won't it? <laughs> Whoa! Careful. Where am I? Alright. I have already accumulated that. Hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> you threw a unicorn? You took the most amazing. Okay, come on now. Let's get your bike.
one you finished. You only gonna have one ear? Or no, then what is I'm gonna make, make another ear, but it's not gonna be curvy. Not like that. It's not gonna be curvy, Mom. Okay. One curvy ear and one straight ear. Your cat does that all the time. I draw by this Okay. So there's <laughs> it's a very tall ear. Okay. What about his body? He doesn't need a body. Alright. Let's see the show. How about I build the him coming out of the top hat? There you go. So like here's the top hat, and there's the hand coming out. Do do do. That's dun, cool. Dun, dun. That is very neat. Dun 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 dun. Okay, are you ready for the rest of the story? Emma pulled out a white, <gasps> real life bunny from the hat. Oh, oh my goodness, wow. Alex! Look, Emma squealed. Happy birthday, Emma! Alex said, hugging his little sister. Thank you. This is the best birthday ever. I Emma need smiled. Another piece like this. For the bunny for some feet. Let's see what we can find in here. Here's one. What's it look like? There it is. I know. No. That's all. Oh, this is a cool bunny. It doesn't have a claw or something. There's something on the bottom of it. Yeah. And there's another piece on the bottom. Nope. Bunnies have claws, you know. Oh, here, this could have been an ear. Mama. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. So, okay. that was a pretty good no. story. This and is... Sophia was pretty good listening to it. And so, this we're one? nearly caught up with our Lego br bricks. Uh, uh, she's strapped in. So, next time on Saturdays with Grace, we're going to be doing some cooking. Grace is going to be doing some film cooking. this on Sunday. So we would like to thank everyone for joining us. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us. And we will announce when new Saturdays with Grace get posted. And we appreciate you. Bye-bye. And don't forget.